So today I'd like to talk to you about an integration between AtScale Semantic Layer and Snowflake Cortex Analyst. This integration leverages some technology from Cortex's uh, AI suite. This is an offering by Snowflake that covers a range of different, uh, different pieces of functionality. But for today, we're gonna to be focusing specifically on this Cortex Analyst piece. And Cortex Analyst focuses primarily on uh, text-to-SQL solutions, so being able to ask natural language questions and interpret them as SQL. The problem we're looking to address here today is essentially one where the time to answer is just too slow. What I mean by that is, say you're in a business meeting and you're trying to understand what your yearly sales were last year. You could try to pull up a BI report really quick and start hunting through some, some tabs, or at worst, you would have to go and talk to a data analyst, shoot them a message, and maybe you'd get an answer hours to days later. This is just a real limiting factor for folks that are trying to leverage data-driven decision-making and really impairs folks that want to use data that they've spent time curating. The idea is that a user could go to Cortex Analyst and ask it a question in natural language. Cortex would then leverage its backend LLMs to interpret that question, determine it's, if it's relevant to the underlying data, and then present a query to AtScale. AtScale would then interpret that query and return back a set of robust SQL that could be run on the underlying data warehouse. What's great about this is that we leverage AtScale not only through this querying capacity, but also as the semantic layer that sits underneath that, meaning all your business terminology and all your defined aggregations are accessible to Cortex Analyst. So AtScale brings to the table a couple things that I just mentioned. First, you know, metric store. You're going to have a great place to define your business terminology as well as your aggregations and understand that it's always going to be coming from a single source of truth. You also have a place to define joins, which is a place that, you know, typically LLMs really struggle in. But because they're defined in at scale and because of how this integration is built, it's actually no longer an issue. Similarly, because we're leveraging at scale's query engine to do the heavy lifting here, you get access to highly optimized queries uh, that can leverage aggregate tables, meaning that you'll have lower costs over time. So let's talk a little bit more about how this works. Let's say you are looking to get this set up. The first thing you do is go to AtScale and transfer your semantic layer that exists today in AtScale over to Cortex. Snowflake has their own semantic layer that they've, that they've built, and AtScale has built a handy connector and converter to move between AtScale to Cortex. This means that without any manual intervention, the semantic layers you have today are going to be able to be leveraged by Cortex Analyst. Then let's say you have gone forward and decided, hey, I want to use this technology. Let's ask a quick question of Cortex Analyst. Something simple like, what were my average sales last year? Cortex will first interpret this question and determine if it is relevant to the underlying data. Uh, if it is, great. Um, we can talk about that in a second. But if not, Cortex Analyst will basically say, hey, this is not relevant, and give you a little explanation of maybe some alternative questions that are relevant to the underlying data. But let's say you did ask a question that was relevant. What happens next is Cortex would leverage the information from the underlying semantic layer to generate what's called an inbound query to at scale. These inbound queries are single table operations, so just selecting columns from a logical table, and that's about it from the Cortex side. It doesn't have to worry about joins or defining aggregations. All of that is handled to at scale, by at scale. So this inbound query will go to at scale. The at scale query engine will then translate this inbound query into what's known as outbound query. These outbound queries, like you can see here, involve more complex operations, decomposing to what you've already defined as your, you know, your measures or your aggregations, things that you know are going to be consistent um, down the line. From here, the query is passed back to the user where it can be run against the underlying warehouse so you can get results. So again, leveraging Cortex to really handle the front end piece of this, decompose the question, understand uh, what the user is asking, and then pose it as a single table operation to at scale. At scale is then able to decompose this into a more complex multi-table operation, which can then be run to solve the, uh, solve the question. And that's basically all you need to know. 
So from here, I'd love to show you a quick demo. So this is a Streamlit application, but the beauty of this integration is that everything is REST API based. So if you want to integrate this into your own existing products today, or if you want to set it up with say a, a Slack or a Teams bot, all those things are very possible. Let's get into this. So I can ask a question similar to what we were just talking about. You know, what was my total quantity sold each year? And what's going to happen here is again, Cortex is going to decompose this question, try to understand, is this relevant to the underlying semantic model? Uh, what are these entities mapping to in that semantic model? And then trying to generate an inbound query to at scale. So you can see here, it will always try to rephrase your question back to you using terminology that it sees more from the semantic layer. So it'll say, what was the total quantity sold across all sales channels by calendar year? We can see our table result here. Just to kind of touch back on what we were saying earlier, this is the inbound query to at scale. So again, a single table operation, just selecting a couple columns from this at scale logical table. And then the outbound query, which is what at scale is generated, is much more complex. So you'll see here, I asked for the total quantity sold and if you peek behind the curtain a bit, you can see at scale is doing a few things to create that measure. It's saying, okay, your total quantity sold is the aggregation of your web sales, uh, as well as pieces from your catalog sales and your store sales. And all this is already defined in the semantic layer. And I'll pause there just to show you real quickly what the semantic layer looks like that's powering this. So this is at scale's container product, and this is the TPCVS model, which we're using for this demo. It's a public open source model that AtScale's put together focused on a public benchmark uh, for data warehouses. But again, this model is very complex. It covers a ton of different uh, sales information and shipping information, has a lot of aggregates already produced and a lot of uh, dimensions already created. So all this rich metadata is available to the LLM in a really simplified way for it to leverage. And now I can ask it a little bit of a different question. So this one leveraged, this question we just did today, just now uh, focuses in on aggregations, but what if we ask it something that's more about like filtering or something a little more subjective? So we ask it, what was the name, manager, and floor space for each of the stores in the city of Midway? Again, it's going to go through that same process, try to figure out, is this question relevant? How do I decompose it? Things like that. And you can see it was very quick. It was able to grab all these inf pieces of information from the semantic model, create a query, and even apply the filter that we are interested in. And now I would like to show a quick piece that is really interesting from Cortex. Uh, with the current Cortex technology, you're actually able to ask follow-up questions. So what's happening here is I can ask a follow-up, say, how about the city of Liberty? So remember I was asking about the city of Midway before. What's gonna happen here is Cortex has a history of all of the questions and queries that were generated. I should note here that Cortex is not seeing the table itself, so it doesn't know the table data, your data isn't being leaked to this LLM. It is just seeing these queries. So what Cortex is gonna do is gonna say, does this question look relevant to any of the questions I've seen in the past? And try to make it completely net new query. And you can see here, it was able to successfully do that. This is where the interpretation is really cool. It'll say, the interpretation of how about the city of Liberty was, was the name, manager, and floor space of each store in the city of Liberty. And we get our nice response back. Now, the final thing I will just show is how Cortex deals with something maybe that's irrelevant to your model. So for example, this is a model that's built around sales and shipping. So I could ask something kind of irrelevant to this saying, what were my global emissions in 2024? So we asked it a question that was irrelevant to the semantic model here. And Cortex was kind enough to say, hey, you know, I don't think this is relevant to the semantic model you have loaded. The semantic model you have is all about sales across different sales channels, uh, as well as customers and shipping information. It will suggest a couple of different follow-up questions, um, but again, it won't make up an answer. It won't make up something to try to satisfy this question. So again, the LLM has looked at this question, seen that it is not relevant to the underlying semantic model, and it gives you a little information on why. It'll tell you what it interprets the semantic model's content to cover, and then gives some suggestions on what uh, questions you might be able to ask that are semi-relevant to your original question. So this is a great way of reducing the risk of hallucinations. Uh, the LM will never try to just generate a response 
to satisfy a question that it has no context for. Uh, it'll instead try to push the user in a way that's uh, reasonable for the underlying model. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Cortex Analyst and at scale semantic layer integration. If you have any questions, please reach out to AtScale and we'd be happy to set up a demo for you.